Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a bit different. Firstly, before I start this video, I just want to say thank you so much for 1k subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. So since I've reached 1k subscribers, I thought, you know what, it's time to give you guys some insightful information. One of the most frequent questions I get is how do I become a content creator? How do I create this? How do I vlog? So today I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do just that. So one of the questions I always get whenever I have a Q&A session or just when people DM me is how do I become a content creator? So to answer this, there's only one way to become a content creator and that is to create content. For today's video, I'm going to be focusing on vlogs, specifically TikTok vlogs or Instagram reels. The reason why I'm putting my focus on one piece of content form is because every piece of content is created differently in ways of which camera you use, which editing you use, how to put it all together. And that's why I'm going to be doing this video specifically on Instagram Reels and TikTok longer form videos. So you might be thinking, oh my word Anika, everyone knows how to make a vlog. Big mistake. I get so many questions on how did you make this? What did you use? How did you put this together? And so I'm going to do a video to explain every single thing to you and break it down into pieces. This is the very first step towards becoming a content creator because what is a content creator? Someone that creates content, someone that puts whatever they're doing out there, what they like, their hobbies, their daily doings, what they did this morning, what they did last night. That is a content creator because you are creating content around your lifestyle or whatever you enjoy. Firstly, I want to say this is the most important part. Never try to be like someone else when it comes to content. I'm saying this at the start of the video because there is so much content out there. We don't want to see the same thing over and over again. And that's how your content is going to boost. If you give us something new, something exciting, something we haven't seen yet, or just doing it in a different way. That is my number one tip when it comes to any form of content. Make it your own. So now, let's get into the nitty gritty of things. When it comes to mini vlogs, which is what I'm going to be focusing on today, I prefer to use my phone. The reason being, a mini vlog is something you want to get out fast, you don't want to wait until tomorrow, you want to post it today. And that's why your phone is the easiest thing to use because you can make the content, you edit the content on one thing and then it goes out. At this moment, I only know how to operate on an iPhone. So I'm going to explain that, but I'm sure you can find these type of settings on any phone out there. So when you go to video on your iPhone, on the right hand corner, you see letters and numbers. So you'll see either 4K HD and then you'll see either 24, 30 or 60. So my tip is to put it on 4K. That's going to increase the quality of your video. What does a 20, 30 and 60 mean? That is frame rate. So that is how many little pictures your iPhone is taking per second to make a video. Because a video is just a bunch of pictures like this, like next to each other. So my tip is to put it on 60 because it's taking the most pictures at one time. That is perfect for if you want to slow things down as well. So I prefer using 60 because I never know what I want to make slow-mo. And the 60 plays fine in normal speed as well because it's just a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of pictures in a little second. So it's basically 60 pictures in a second. So you basically have more content if you think about it. So when you slow it down, it doesn't have such a blurry effect as what 24 or 30 will have. So like I said, this is basically just for vlogs. I would not recommend the same thing for when recording with like an actual camera. That is other settings. I will do that in a different video. Okay, now we have that done. This is my next step. So you can record inside of Instagram or you can record inside TikTok. I don't do that. The reason for that is when you record on your cell phone, it's much easier to edit the content. Whereas if you're recording in TikTok and you make a mistake or you say something wrong or something looks funny, you have to restart that whole part. Whereas on your phone, you can just continue and edit that bit out. So I always record on my camera. TikTok and Instagram have really nice settings to edit within the app. So I use TikTok 
and Instagram to edit the videos. So I put all the videos in there and I edit it in there. It's much easier, then you don't have to use another app and then save another video, take more space up. So I use the editing function within Instagram and TikTok. So when we look at TikTok, once you go into the video and you select your videos, you simply go to the top right corner and then there you in the pro editor, as what TikTok calls it nowadays. There you can easily split the video to take out certain parts. You can make the speed slower, faster. You can add the voiceover. You can change the motion blur, which is like if you want a little piece of your video to be frozen, a great function. I've used it before. You can change the volume, crop, rotate, replace everything. You can also add transitions. And this is my next step. Whenever you want your thing to smoothly go into the next part of the video, let's say you're making a video where you go from left to right. Always split to the most blurry part of the video. I'll show you this. I did this with a reel that I recently posted. When my hand was at the most blurry point in the white outfit, I split the video there and then in the black outfit at the most blurry point from this side, I split the video there and that's how you get a smooth transition. I recently learned this trick and it works amazing. I also find it much easier to do this with TikToks, even if it's a video that you wanna use sound on. So what I will do is I will play the song from a different device, either my laptop or something, and then I'll record the video once again with my phone instead of recording in TikTok. Because it just gives you a much more easier transition and it makes it easier for you to be able to cut off exactly and start exactly where you want. Instead of having to redo and redo and redo and redo and redo and redo. Because me, I speak Afrikaans. So you must know when I do videos in English, it takes me forever. So imagine I was recording in TikTok or in Instagram. I would have to go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back the whole time. Instagram now I have these same features. They also have split, speed, sound, slow motion, fast motion within the Reels function. So I use that. Now once we have the recording all set up, we now know how to record our videos, how to get the best quality, how to get the best speed. Let's talk about how to get your content to reach its full potential. So we know we're fighting algorithms on these apps. TikTok has an algorithm, Instagram has an algorithm. So there's little tricks you can use to try and beat it. Obviously it's not always gonna work, but the day when it does, the day when it does is a good day. Here's my tip for that. Firstly, Instagram and TikTok loves trending audio. Especially when an artist releases a new song. That's when you'll see like they will put new next to the audio. That's when you know this person or this company is trying to boost this song. So use that song. If an artist drops a new song, use it. Especially if it still has little videos on it. That's the best. If you see under like 4K videos made on the sound, that means the sound could be trending soon. And if you use it first, your video will pop up higher and people will see your video when they want to use the sound. So on Instagram, you can also just when you go to your sound option and when you see featured, those are the audios that are getting boosted. So try to make use of those audios. Try to make it fit with your video. On Instagram, they also have a little point arrow to show trending audios. So make use of those as well. Take a look at trending hashtags. Every app has its own trending hashtags. And by this, I mean try to use hashtags that have loads of videos on it, along with hashtags that have little uses on it. So on TikTok specifically, you can type in a hashtag and see, okay, it has a million, a billion users. Use one of those. And then you type in a new hashtag and then look for something around like 2,000, 5,000. That's a less used hashtag. Try to make use of those in, into your video as well. At this very moment, like in this week, there's a hashtag, hashtag longer videos that is trending. TikTok is trying to get people to make longer videos again. So use the hashtag longer videos in your videos of this week. I'm not sure how long that hashtag will trend for, but you can try it out. Hashtags, everything, they change regularly. Go into YouTube, go into TikTok, type in trending sounds, trending hashtags. Look at the dates, if people commented, in under six days, you know that's a new video, it's a new trend. 
use all of that information in those type of videos. So I will go into Instagram and type in trending audios, trending hashtags, trending videos. Try to mimic these type of videos and these type of trends, but in a way that's true to your niche or to who you are and suits your content. That way you are in the trend, but you're still doing your own thing, if that makes sense. This is also very important. Be consistent. If you see the last video that you posted got da 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 k views, post again. Don't sit back and think, okay, that one went well, I'm just gonna disappear now for a week. No, make use of that video that just trended. Post immediately, post the next day after that, post the day after that again, because people are watching that video, so they're gonna go into your account and look at more videos that you have around. They'll go to the video before that, the video after that. So make use of videos that are doing well. On both Instagram and TikTok, you can reply to a previous comment on a previous video with a video. So make use of that. If your video is doing well, if it's trending and someone commented something like, we want to see more, do more, reply with a video, your next video on that comment. Because whoever is watching that video and reading that comment is going to go into the next video, like a part two or like... A continuation of whatever series you just created so make use of that function so when it comes to vlogging itself making a video getting your content always keep in mind what you need in the video so let's say you're doing a kid ready with me you know that you need a part before you were done why you're getting ready and afterwards so even if you just take six ten second videos of a part of what you're doing that makes a one minute video. You don't want to get to the point where you are at the end of the day and you realize you only have 20 seconds worth of content or you miss this whole part. You just need to take little 10 second videos of every step of whatever you're doing. If you are doing a day in the life, take a 10 second video of you making your breakfast. Take a 10 second video of you doing your morning routine. 10 second video of you picking out your outfit. 10 seconds of this. That's all you need. It doesn't even have to be 10 seconds. It can be five seconds, guys. Let's count. And that's it. They have a piece of content by just sitting still for that five seconds. So make sure to just snap something here and there and there so that you know you have enough content. So always keep in mind what you want your video to look like and what you need in the video. So let's say you're planning on doing a voiceover. You know, okay, you want your voiceover to go a certain day. You want to tell the story. You want us to experience it with you. So keep your voiceover in mind. You want to say, hi guys, this morning I had my breakfast. Then I went to gym. Then I went to this. So keep in mind, that's what you want to say. So that's what we want to see as well. Because you don't want to be talking about something that you're not showing. Because it's like, okay, we didn't see that. So now you're gonna think, oh, do I really wanna put my whole life on social media? It is not your whole life. It is five, 10 seconds out of your day. You can still keep so many things private in a 24 hour day where you are showing us one minute of that little snippets of 24 hours. You don't have to put your entire life on social media, just the cute fun parts, the things that you want us to see. That's the magic of social media. You don't have to put everything out there. You can put out exactly what you want. So there you have it guys. That is how easily you can create a vlog. If you want more tips on how to create a YouTube vlog or how to create Instagram content for a campaign, let me know in the comments and I can make a next video on that. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't be scared to tell me exactly what you want to see on my channel. Bye!